Um, I'm not really looking for a guy at all at the moment, but I suppose if I was someone who doesn't take life too seriously, someone who enjoys to travel, someone who likes to have fun, and someone who's creative as well. Um, someone with a nice smile. Like, if you have a nice smile, it means that you're welcoming, well presentable. Um, just a nice person, like, if our energies bounce off of each other, communication's there, like, we're flying, you know, to Bora Bora. You need to be on the same wavelength, you know what I mean? So I feel like I want a woman confident, a woman who's strong, um, got strong morals, and a woman who knows herself, you know what I mean? Because I feel like a lot of girls don't know themselves. You know, I feel like a lot of girls are kind of like naive, you know what I mean? I think obviously us boys are naive as well, but I think girls are naive as well. So sometimes a lot of girls will be influenced by their friends, you know what I mean? You know, and they don't really know who they are. Uh, and obviously, I want a woman who's going to be able to be nice and kind-hearted. Because I believe, you know, we're, we're all equal, you know, and I want a girl who's sociable. I am looking for somebody who who has a great relationship um, with their own family or who has a great relationship with the circle around him. Because if they have that foundation of building great relationships, which means that they're able to communicate effectively, they are vulnerable with their emotions and the things that they're going through. If they're able to communicate with their inner circle and their families, then it means that we will be able to communicate well together. Um, I'm looking for somebody who knows how to have a laugh because sometimes all you need is to laugh around and joke about certain things. I'm looking for somebody who is able to, how deep am I going with this? Anyway, okay. <laughs> um, I'm looking for somebody who is financially responsible. Um, somebody who, because consistency for me is a very, is a very great need. I want somebody who's consistent. If we can build a foundation of um, great communication and you are good financially, we're both learning together on that journey, then I think it's easier to then build together a home that we can then bring children into it. What I want is somebody who is emotionally healthy. Um, we're able to have a fight, but we know that at the end of the day, we are okay. I want someone who is committed to commitment. Um, not just the idea of a wedding, not just the idea of a marriage, because this is what they feel like society is telling them to do, or religion is telling them to do. But they genuinely want to be in a committed relationship with one woman, and they are thinking that this is something for the rest of my life, and I'm wanting to build with that person. So for me, those are very important things, um, qualities I'm looking for in a man. Um, I want a woman who's um, fearing in God, you know, because I feel like, even though for me, like, I won't say I'm the biggest Christian in the world, but, you know, I believe in God, I go to church, I mean, and I'll, I think I'll, I'll need that. Because I feel like when you're looking for a partner, you need someone that's going to be in the, in the right frame of mind as you are, so that you can grow stronger, you know what I mean? And I feel like, I need a woman who's religious so that we can both like um, support each other and like like pray together and like if we're going through struggles we can you know come to God together. You know what I mean? So I feel like yeah, I feel like I need a woman that's gonna meet me halfway. I think for me, humor goes a long way. You need to have a good sense of humor. Um, you, I mean, we all want things like honesty and all of that. Um, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of something that's not cliche, even something that's not like, oh, someone who can, yeah. Cook and clean, that's not to say I, I want someone who can cook and clean so that they can cook and clean for me. It's just someone who's just got good hygiene, I guess. That's that's just, I guess that's a given. I'm not saying clean for me. I mean, like, if I come to your yard, no, it'll be nice if it's clean. But it's just things like that. Um, I don't mind girls 
that drink, smoke, go out clubbing, smoke weed. I don't mind that. Um, I don't mind. I don't mind it when a girl has a male friend or something like that. I'm not, I'm trying to think of things that man them will be like, mm, no, I'm going, my girl can't be doing this and that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I think I'm, 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 I'm very, I think I'm very easy. Yeah, I think I just ask for, for, for just the bare, bare basic stuff. And I feel like as well, I need a woman who's going to be independent because as well, obviously, you know, we're all dependent because, you know what I mean, it's something that it's natural in our, in our, um, in our, in, in our character. We are dependent, you know what I mean? Like, we are independent at the same time, but at the same time we're dependent, you know what I mean? Because we, we, all, we all work, we all pay stuff, so we're all dependent on stuff. So I feel like, yeah, I need a woman who's independent at the same time who can, you know, walk, walk on two feet as well. Because at the end of the day, you can't always rely on your partner. You need to walk on your own as well, yeah. Thank you.